I'm my Pinnacle Studio peeps. We're here in Pinnacle Studio 18 Ultimate, and I have got to show you how to get your pan and zoom right. As you can see, I already have a clip down in the timeline, so I'm going to right click on this clip, and I'm going to go to Open Effects Editor. Now, under Open Effects Editor, I'm going to go to Camera. And then I'm going to go to pan and zoom. The first thing I want to do now that I am set up here is I want to make sure that my keyframes are set on. And they are on because it is orange. And then I want to open up my settings by clicking on this little drop down carrot here. And now I can see all the settings. There's already a keyframe at the beginning and the end of this clip. So at the beginning, we can tell that these are the parameters of the first keyframe. And if I go to the end, these are the parameters of the last keyframe. I would advise you go to the last keyframe and fix the position on where you want your clip to end wherever you want it on the scene. I want mine to be back at zero or normal. So I'm going to change the zoom to zero and I'm going to hit enter. And now the first keyframe and the last keyframe are at the same exact spot. You might want to have your last keyframe at a different position. All right. Now this first control here is for adding and deleting keyframes. When it has a white strike over it, that means it will delete a keyframe because your scrubber is over a keyframe. If it is not over a keyframe, then you will not see a white strike over it. it means you're going to add a keyframe. You can also add a keyframe by just changing any of these positions here. If I change the horizontal, you notice a keyframe automatically is created there. So I'm going to double click on that, change it to zero, hit enter. And now I can remove this keyframe by clicking on the remove keyframe button. You can also navigate between keyframes and move your scrubber to keyframes by using these handy dandy arrows on either side of the add delete keyframe button. All right, let's talk about how to make stuff move around. So the first thing you want to always do is if you want your shot to be stationary, you have to put two duplicate keyframes back to back. So let's say I want my shot to be stationary up to this point. Well, I can add a keyframe and then make sure that these parameters are the same as the first keyframe or let me remove this. I can right click on a keyframe, do copy keyframe, put my playhead where I want it, right click on the timeline and do paste keyframe. What that means is that the scene is not going to move between these two keyframes. So now let's say I want to zoom in. I can move my playhead to a position where I like. And now I can just change the zoom parameter by double clicking on it, typing in a number, hitting enter, or using the slider. And now I've zoomed into this position where I want it. If I wanted to change it horizontal and vertical, I could do that as well to make it zoom in to a specific thing on the clip. Keep in mind, once you add a keyframe where you're doing some movement, the closer that keyframe is to the last keyframe, the faster and the jerkier your transition is going to look. It's going to zoom in or move to that new position real fast. The further away you put your keyframe when you do your new position, the slower and the smoother the movement will look. So. If I play this here, you'll see this is the speed it zooms in. I zoom it back out because this last keyframe is at zero. But if I make this keyframe closer, what you'll see is it's going to zoom in even faster. See? So you have to be cognizant of where you put your keyframe, but you can always drag your keyframes, left click, and drag them to move them somewhere else if you want the movement to be faster 
and jerkier or slower and smoother. And you can play it again after any other changes. And you're good to go. That's how you get your pan and zoom on. If you like this content, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. If you have other video tutorials you want to see, leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see. Or if you wanted to see something different or need some help with something, leave a comment below. All right. And if you want some more of this juicy Pinnacle Studio Pro goodness on a regular basis, don't forget to subscribe. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.